Hey, what's up, bad friends? The Tito Cheeto is here. I just wanted to give you guys a little update about our boy Bob. Uh, he's getting a little bit of good help. He's feeling good. We're talking every day. And uh, we want to thank you for sticking along and being a bad friend with us during a transitional time in our lives. And uh, we love you and we miss you. And Bob's going to come back very soon. Uh, and he's feeling good. And he's doing good. And I'm out by a lake. Look at this <laughs> this lake dude uh but uh just want to give you guys an update um he's uh working out some stuff but bobby's doing good and he sends his love and he misses all of his bad friends and he will be back soon and thank you for supporting us in the meantime um also i'm out uh in upstate new york because i'm on the road come see me andrewsantino.com for those tickets andrewsantino.com this weekend i'm in seattle and portland and then i do vegas and then we get into Canada. They're going to let us back in. So go to andrewsantino.com. Come see me this weekend, Seattle and Portland. andrewsantino.com. Thank you guys for being a bad friend. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. T-Pain has a podcast now. Yeah, I know. I saw. It's yeah. actually pop, super popular, isn't it? Should we try to get on it? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, of course. I would love to. I would love to go on T-Pain's pod. What's it called? Um, what's T-Pain's podcast nappy called? Boy, nappy Boy. Nappy Boy. Radio. Nappy Boy Radio. <laughs> Are you being serious? Yeah. Nappy okay. I thought that you were throwing out there. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we were on the podcast, kid. Nappy, we're not at the diner. Nappy Boy Radio <laughs> with T-Pain. But his his record company is called Nappy Boy, nappy boy oh, okay, Records. Okay. No, because yeah. I thought if you were just throwing that one out there. I was like, no. What am I? What am I uh, what's that guy? That old that old guy? Uh, oh, 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 Don uh, Imus? Don Imus? Yeah. yeah. And he, got run, what he, he was like, bunch of nappy headed holes. <laughs> that guy was nuts. If you you guys remember that? that let's, let's not go quoting things that got people canceled here. On, yes. Uh, well, you can quote what he said. He's dead I'm now, not Don. Saying I, it. He's yeah. dead now, Don. R.I.P., dude. What a guy. He died from that, from saying that. Yeah. Yeah, you can't say that. Died. Shock jock. <laughs> what, of what, nappy headed, headed hose fame. fame. Yeah, see, so you that, go, I can't say it. It's the news article <laughs> name. That's how you're known as the nappy headed hose guy. Not, not that you started making merch, nappy headed hose. Just shirts. Can I tell you something? Today he would sell a ton of it. A ton. Oh my God. A ton of net. Yeah. Daily Wire would start slinging it. <laughs> ben Shapiro. And the reason that we wear the nebby headed host sweater is because obviously it's promoting what we believe in. It's a joke and it's a joke and the Democrats are going to get it because they don't believe in jokes. So. <laughs> well, all that dude does is talk as fast as he can. Uh, it's so funny. I don't believe in anything he's saying. He just keeps rattling it well, off. Well, he says opposite points all the time, too. When you're yeah. like, but he just says it so quick. You're like, fuck. Like, what's wrong with the white supremacist? What have they ever done that's offended you at all? And of, 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 of course, of course, I'm Jewish and I'm Jewish and I'm Jewish and, and that's how I feel and that's how I believe and that's kind of, I, I just think free speech is fine. But, 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 you know, unless it's against my people. Uh, I was born a biological male. <laughs> what do you think? This, he always says that I was biological male. I'm, I'm born a biological male, so th therefore I'm a male. I couldn't be anything else other than a male. <laughs> Even if I change my gender, Dude, it's not going to matter. Kyle Dunnigan's Ben Shapiro. I don't know if you've spoken about it on the show. I mean, it's, I mean, it, he's he's so it good. literally. It's it's um <clears throat> the fact that a guy like a Kyle Dunnigan is not um I mean he's very famous, but not like he's not the face of let's say the iconic SNL sketch. Like that is the most. That's a Will Ferrell talent. Yeah, that's Dunnigan's, not on the show. Dunnigan's Dunnigan's. Uh, he's what the show is, and he's not on it. Hey, well, he's doing it himself. It's better for Shrimpo. It's me, Jeraco Biden. <laughs> I hear you're a very talented trans am. <laughs> okay, I'm confused. You called the Ben Shapiro show. I'm Ben Shapiro. I don't know who Benifer Shrimpo is. Also, I'm not a trans am. That's a car. I'm a human man. Darn right you're a man. Who cares what you're born with? And congratulations. I just signed a Mexican order. So you have, not, 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 uh, a sex it in border. You can play hockey with the girls now. <laughs> okay, I'm sick of explaining this to everyone. I am fully biologically male. I was born with one set of reproductive organs, and they are fully male. Now, on to your point about hockey. Not interested. Look, look, look. I need your vote. I got a big erection coming up against a bad dude, <laughs> Donald Duck. He's got no pants, man. Orange legs. If you're referring to the election we just had that you won, you won that. And to be clear, it was not against a cartoon duck. Hey, come on. Give me a chance. America needs to heal. That's why we're here, y'all. Because blank, blank people are just as fat as white girls. Same as transgenders. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> <laughs> transgenders. <laughs> Dunnigan is unbelievable. I I never, I, I, do you know him personally? Like have him on the yeah. pod and stuff or whatever? No, I'm not, he's hasn't been, he's never came on my show. But I know, I mean, he's great. I, I know him. him I love him. He's so funny, man. Yeah, I love him. He's a great guy. I've never I never you met him. You know who I don't love? Chris? De Fancy Stefano? B. Oh. Hey. Fancy B. We said Scumbag. Fancy B is sitting in Rudy's chair. I know. We're shooting early in the morning. 
And our good friend Chris Stefano is back. I feel like we just jumped right through all the hoops, but we're fine. And we've got everybody in the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, and Fancy's sitting in Rudy's chair, and he's far away from the mic, just like she does. Yeah. yeah. Fancy's there. We said on a previous episode that Fancy um, was sex trafficking geriatric people. Yeah, we said we, you were gone on the other episode because that's what you were up to. I thought that was a secret. <laughs> but it's not anymore. <laughs> we're just kidding around. The way he said it. I, I like, thought it was a secret. How, how was, did you know that? We said you got extradited to Spain, but now you're back. I'm back. I'm back. How are you feeling, fans? I'm good. I feel a little strange here. In that chair? You don't that like that chair. chair? No, I like it. It's an like expensive it. chair. It's, expensive it's a chair. very expensive chair. <laughs> yeah. You better yeah. like it. That cost West me Elm? Where'd you guys go? East Elm. Ooh. Far, far East Elm. <laughs> far East Elm. Yeah, that chair's from right outside of, uh, of Wuhan. There's a factory outside of Wuhan that makes good chairs. Have mm -hmm. you ever been over there? East Elm? Yeah. Wuhan? East Elm. Um, uh, have you ever been to Wuhan? Uh, no. No, I haven't. I haven't it's been, been to you. No, I've never gotten it. You have had COVID, you, there's no doubt. No, we said this last time. You I don't. You brought it to my friends. Yeah, you brought it to me. I Well, <laughs> I didn't. Donnie Tsunami, who's sitting in the back, did. Yeah, that's true. What, what's the What's the main attraction in Wuhan, other than the labs? You know what's the funny? The Yellow Crane Tower. What? Oh, the Yellow Crane Tower. That actually oh. looks awesome. That's. I don't appreciate Would you go to the Wuhan Yellow Crane with me? Tower. Would you they go with me? They should change the color. Yes. <laughs> change the color? <laughs> Yellow. I'd go, to, I'd go to Wuhan now. I bet you it's as safe as ever. 100%. What's that lake called they got there? Dong Lake. Whoa. Dong Lake. <laughs> Click Dong on the first lake. photo of Dong Lake. <laughs> Dong Lake. Wow. Nice. How pretty that is. Look at that. Nice <laughs> Dong. Nice Dong Lake. It's got a big Dong. Um, You can't even go to China right now, Papa. I can. I don't think we can. I can. Why? I know a couple guys. You can get into China? 100%. Um, I go down to the port of Long Beach. I sneak inside one of those crates. I'm in China in a day. Do you do you, um yeah probably yeah your your merch I know is sitting Longshore, on that crate I know Longshoreman yeah my merch comes from remember, <laughs> I just backtracked where my merch came from um you can't you know people have, were doing a lot of comedy shows in China before um the Weezer hit and and now and now it's no people doing stand up in China big time yeah because there's a lot of was a lot of Americans there expats that live there or English speaking people that live there so you could go out there was a guy who ran a comedy show there you could go an go American to, comic Jared, my friend Jared Free did it he said it was awesome I know him yeah Jared Free did it he said it was awesome what but now yeah now it's locked down baby wow can't go I bet you fancy doesn't know what expats mean do you know what it is yes what, what is it <laughs> means people who are in China who are from America nope nope expats are just they're not they're all over the world expats is a is someone who is a resident they, they moved out of the country but they're still patriot hmm. expats expatriates are you a patriot? I will be soon. When is the citizenship test coming? I they said any any time between three months and twelve months. You know, so he's taking his citizenship test. And <laughs> have, you, he, have you done questions yet on the uh, show? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Okay, yeah, and you know what? He failed almost all of them. All of them. You know who else did? Me and Bobby. I could, I didn't get one right. Look, can I can I just see if you? Because I just want to see. I'll look at you. Because I just I because you know, you're a history. I'm buff. a history guy, but I want to see if even I can. If I'm if I'm will if I'm if I'm an American <clears throat> citizen or not. Just read me one. I won't look at the answer. Or maybe I no. Can. Don't look at me. Don't okay. yeah, Don't cheat. Uh, how about this? Um, well, what is an amendment? What is an amendment? Mm -hmm. An amendment is a is a ratification to the Constitution. That's a change or an addition. So change or an addition. Uh, I'll give you fifty fifty on. <laughs> I that. said ra okay. I tried to be smarter. It's just a change. <laughs> what do we call the first ten uh, amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Ooh, he's on fire. <laughs> how many how many amendments does the Constitution have? <laughs> yeah, that you don't uh, know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Twenty seven. Wow. Wow. What are the two rights in the in the Declaration of Independence? The two rights. Uh freedom of speech. Nope. Oh, two rights. Wait, two. What are two rights? Two of the three rights of the, dec in the um, Declaration of Independence. Um, 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 two rights. Um, right to have slaves. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely had to erase that. <laughs> yeah, no. Everyone's like, "Well, I guess that's gone." No, they're like, "No, no, no, no. keep uh, it." Yeah, keep it. Oh, two rights. Um, slavery um, was on a post-it note. Freedom of the press. Nope. Ooh. Don't covet your neighbor's wife. <laughs> That's in there. Uh, if you're going to covet or covet it all, I'll cover all of them. I actually don't know. What are they? Life, puberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Ah, <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. I didn't realize That's that the was a right. All right. One more. One more. And then one more. All right. One more. And that's it. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Um... Uh, checks and balances. Yeah, it's so funny because the fans think that you're an idiot, but you're not. Yeah. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, name one. Name one right only for United States citizens. Name one person on the right. <laughs> Chris Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait. What was it? Name one right for only U.S. citizens. Name oh, one right for only U.S. There's citizens. Two of them. Yeah. What are the one? If you're born in the United States, you're legal. <laughs> you're legal uh, citizen. Voting. You got a passport. Voting. Voting. And what's the other one? You can. 
You can. If you're born here, you can you run for president. Run for federal office. Run for federal office. I think someone's going to get their citizenship. Wow, Fancy's going to get it. So you're going to have dual citizenship, Fancy? Yeah. España. Yeah. What passport are you going to put above the other one? You're going to put Spain on top of the United States? Depending on which country I am. Uh, Who side do you take in the, in the, in what the a fair weather fan? In the Espana fight. Are you in Catalonia or the other ones? The other ones. Of You're not Catalonia. No. Is Catalonia what no, that dude, whole He's a fancy, fancy like beat. Texas, you know. I was going to say, is Catalonia like the alt right <laughs> of Spain? No, it's not, but they're the separatists. They, they, they want to be separate. Uh, right. Texas still to this day wants to. They Every year they it <laughs> try to remove themselves from the United States, and every year it gets shot down. It doesn't make the news, but it's like a, it's like a thing to. like Every year yeah. they say we want to be separate, and every year we're like, you can't, stupid. <laughs> but why? Let them go. I think, I they, think let, let them go. Let them live. Yeah, let I want them live. Them. They want to be their own independent country. I think if Texas was its own independent country, it'd be like the tenth largest economy in the world. California's the third largest economy in the, in world. the world. In the world, we're the third. Aren't that, China's that one, right? right? What, uh, say, Calif fifth. type in California is what? We're the sixth. I thought it was the third in the world. Fifth, there it is. Oh, it did say fifth. Ah, oh. <clears throat> that's disgusting. Look at that three trillion bucks, baby. Yeah, most half of it's mine. <laughs> yeah, the fifth largest economy ahead of the United Kingdom. And just behind Germany. <laughs> Wait a minute. So California is bigger than the United Kingdom. Uh, and, 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 GDP. Yeah, GDP. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But also, look at I, the size. Look at the landmass size. We're probably four United Kingdoms. Seriously, it's the yeah. size of Spain, California. Yeah. If you crunched it into, if you curled it over, if you curled San Francisco <laughs> yeah. into San Diego right. if you, and made it a round <laughs> ball, we'd be bigger than we'd just as big as Spain. Bigger than España. Yeah. But yeah. we've done less damage to the world than those scumbags have. You no, know? but Spain was big pieces of shit, um, you know, in their time. Still. When the Invincible Armada, they were big pieces. Right. Of, they were every, the thing is, every country has had its day. Okay? Yeah, the Inquisition, the Spanish so Inquisition. Inquisition. Well, that's, well, that, I like that because we got rid of the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I was just kidding. Um, no, we know. We get, know. Fancy. No, no but but see. Um, <laughs> this, I, I wrote this article for the Guardian. Historians say, or Chris Stefano says, Inquisition wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> was it that bad? That's the point where we're questioning stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, was it that bad? What's the big issue, really? So what? Uh, Holocaust. What's the cost? Was it that bad? <laughs> Holo, you, you write an article, Holocaust, C-O-S-T, question mark? <laughs> H a l l a h Holocaust. Uh, holla. Holocaust. What yeah. was it? Imagine. Um, it's not. It's. I mean, look, you no, guys were scumbags. Though. They you were scum. That. Every yeah. country. Every. The thing is, America right now. Yes, I understand. People say declining empire and eh, America's so bad. We're just having our moment. And but then the next yeah. country comes up and they'll do the same thing. Yeah. England. England was historically the worst country of all time. I mean, they killed fucking everybody. Just a little tiny baby island. Mm -hmm. Just killed everybody. They were a little COVID ball that was killing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, you know, they just were cute doing it. That's the key. You're cute doing it. They had nice little red coats. Well, they're tiny men. They're no England are tiny men. They're tiny men, and so they feel less threatening. And they, and they, uh, sorry, you know, because yeah, they can do that and get away you, with it. Did you? Oh, slavery. You. Yeah, did, we did it, but you know, my bad. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Unfortunately for you, you have to lose your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. Oh, oopsie. Oh, whoopsie doodle. Oh. My bad. Oh. Sorry. Is it your sister um, I'm having my way with? All right. <laughs> yeah, I had to disembowel her. It's bollocks, I know. Sorry. Sorry. Well, Sorry. the problem is, love, you're not white. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. You've got too much pigmentation. Yeah. Off, you, off with your head. <laughs> off, but yeah, dude, but so The headings would have been tight to see, though. Oh, my God, dude. Well, here's the thing is, is you know... Nobody popped off in medieval times. You know what I mean? There was yeah. no, there was no, no Twitter, no TikTok. There was nobody. Think of how good TikTok would be in medieval oh times. Oh my god! It would just be whatever the state wants. <laughs> yeah. You know, like you just do. You cannot. I mean, the 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 level of freedom that we have here. I mean, literally. Let I guarantee you, if mm. I said, if I was President Biden, said we're gonna start, we're gonna behead a TikToker. Nobody would ever do anything again. It would uh -uh. just be done. Yeah. We have too much freedom. Everyone, There's no penalty for anything. Yeah. When if there is, it's a wag of the finger. There's more of a penalty for uh, saying something racist online now than yeah. doing something actually bad. Yeah, baby. Did you see that guy throw a, a milkshake at that girl, that young girl at the, what was that? Uh, it was like at a Jamba Juice or something. Just do Andrew Santino hit someone with smoothie. <laughs> Look, <laughs> she fucked up my fucking smoothie. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh oh. Jasmine's calling me. Oh, no. Should we pick it up? Yeah. Answer. Oh. She sent me a COVID test. Is that negative or positive? Here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. 
Wait, hold on. Is this one negative or positive? Wait, let me see. Is that negative it's or like positive? She's test. positive. No, not her. I think it's my kid. <laughs> because that little line to see the blurry uh-huh. line. If it's blurry, it's positive. So who's got cove? Two lines positive, one line negative. Yeah, that's po- that's positive. Oh, baby. Wait a minute. Who does? I don't know. Maybe one of my kids. <laughs> Lila's? Co- I hope not. Let me call her. Let's call and find out who's got COVID. Who's got COVID? Welcome back to Who's Got COVID. Yeah. Who the- is it? I'll see. Hold on. So this is good. You, you never get it, but you're around it. I'm always around it. That's an, well, well, maybe he just can't read the tests. If, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. He's like, what, two lines. Two red, lines means good. <laughs> two, yeah. <laughs> two red lines. Hey. Hey, whose test is that? Oh, so is that positive? But how? They just yelled out positive in the in the doctor's office. Positive! <laughs> My God. Um well, here, let me go. Uh, uh, but she's okay, though, right? She feels fine. What did the doctor say? What did the doctor say? Right. All right, you know what? So, but what are you guys going to do now? Yeah, no, I'm on I'm, I'm the podcast, so I was just stopped <laughs> down for a second. But I saw that. I was like, I want to make sure everything is okay. So let me, so let me. I'm dramatic. You just sent me a positive. I didn't know what it was. I don't know if it's a pregnancy test or COVID test. I think that I've been reading our COVID <clears throat> test wrong. I think I've had it m- multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should have. If you would have told me that was a pregnancy test, I would have been like, I guess we're having another one. As a matter of fact, the fact that one of my kids does have COVID now is I would demand a paternity test at this point because I don't believe any of my children can get COVID. Check the blood. I, I, you think I have COVID right now? I do feel achy. Oh, great. I, I look COVID-y. Sorry, Andrew. Um, <laughs> Andrew's like, not again. <laughs> All right, let, let me go. I'll call, I'll call you in about 45 minutes. All right, bye. Well, that's good. But it's fine, you know? Now I'm nervous. Now I'm like, kids should wear masks. Well, she's going to be okay. No, she's been all right. She had a fever last week, but we kept giving her COVID tests, but they were negative. But I do think now that in hindsight, maybe I have been reading them wrong the whole time. Because I was like positive. I would see positive, a big plus, and I'd be like, that's thumbs up. You don't have it. They were like, you're positive. You don't have it. Well, positive means you don't have it. <laughs> the plus means you don't have it. Yeah, because if you're positive, it's like you're positive, you're good. Yeah. And negative means it's negative. It means you have it. Bad. Right. That's bad. Yeah, stay positive. Stay positive. Be negative. Be negative. Yeah. Oh, so may, I because yeah because when I looked at that result, I was like, this is negative, right? And then she's like, that's a positive. Yeah, and but I've that line that is result. so faint. That's a faint blue. So that line. means that it's not really that big of it. Low that, viral load. That's low what that means. Load. Low viral load. Yeah. yeah. All right. So she's good. She's fine. This guy's wife works in a hospital. She knows. She's a she's a doctor. Epidemiologist. It's the same thing. Yeah. Epidemiologist is the one you want. She's the one that studies the virus. <laughs> right. Yeah. She's what a, does she she's, say? Low viral load. If it's a light blue line. Right. A Can thin I, blue line, which is what we fucking support over here. Yeah. 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 A little bit of red sneaking true right over hey. the border. As a matter of fact, I like that COVID test. That's what I want my daughter. She supports a thin Dominant blue line. Dominant red, a little bit of blue in there. Yeah. So you know what? That she's a De Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they make the lead they make those lines red and then a little bit of blue? Yeah. They want to let you know who you really are. Well, they want to let you know. That's what that test is for, to find out if you're a Dem or a Rib. Well, it said that, yeah, that, and it's and it's also, you know, it's red, white, and blue. She's an American citizen. She God passed, bless. She was born and raised in this goddamn God country. God bless. God bless you. Yeah, his wife uh, uh, is a beautiful, smart, professional. And look at this guy. I know. It's is unbelievable. She, is she from Spain? No. no. She's Americano. White? Real American. South Carolina. She's from South Carolina. Whoa. South but- Carolina? Yeah. yeah. But if you marry her, you can just get the citizenship, right? You don't have to get it on your own. He is right. married. They are married. Oh, but aren't you then automatically a citizen? No. I still have to. You still have to apply and do all that stuff. But yeah. I thought if you married, I thought that's why people did that. They married <laughs> foreigners, you know, like a guy would marry a foreign woman to get the papers. Isn't that a thing? But like I you th- can't get thrown out of the country anymore. Right. They try by now. I, they can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> After all that they, geriatric trafficking that he was doing. Right. Even that, they couldn't deport you. They well, could. I'm going to find a way. No, you get married, but you still, I think there's still, you still have to. Uh, yeah, you have to be married for a number of years. Yeah, a number of years, and you have to apply. It's not as easy as they make it sound. It's not like, oh, you're in, you're done. Got it. But he wants to become a naturalized citizen. He okay. wants to become one of us. Yeah. Okay. A real one. A real, a real American. one? I don't think you can do that. You yes, weren't he, born here. Yeah. You've got to be born into it like a Hasidic Jew. Let I, him have it. I could be like Arnold 
I could be governor. You yeah, you can, can be governor now. That'd be nice if you were governor. <laughs> I know. That'd I'd vote cool. for you. I, I, have... want, I, want, I want my governor to have bangs. <laughs> 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 and a cool accent. <laughs> yeah, you do have a cool accent. I think the Spanish accent is very cool. And you don't have the lisp. How come you don't have the lisp? I do have it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But what, when you grow up in España, do they ever talk about the lisp and how people will say things about it? Or you just think that, that everybody speaks like that? Right. You think everybody, everybody else speaks wrong. Yeah, because by the time you realize that you, you're the one that sound like an idiot, you're like, I can't change it now because <laughs> right. it's, it's, it's already in your late. brain. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> this is who I am. This is who I will be. Who I will so be. He doesn't have the else. S in the front that I'm doing. He doesn't have this, this, this thing he does not have. Yeah, you don't have the... Because it's, it's usually so clear. Because you know it's why. So he, he comes from... Oh, the moon. Yeah. yeah, the more money you have, the less S you have. And if you're poor... Then it's big. Yes. Then it's big. Yeah. If the more broke you are, you're the bigger the S is. Do you um um because Spain is like the the top, like they're like um the big ones, like they're like the Britain of the Latino population. Like right. you look down upon all the other ones, like ooh Absolutely. the little roaches, cucarachas, get out of here, cucarachas, cucarachas. Like you don't want to go near Ecuador or yeah. no, you don't want that. You like Guatemala? No. no, thank you. No, thank <laughs> you. No, gracias. Because you're European, so even the type of Spanish you speak is the proper. Of like course. how a British person would be like, oh, permanent proper. That's your Spanish. That's that's how we sound too so like somebody and... from somebody like uh you know my girl's family's puerto rican they would be listening to you speak spanish and be like oh he sounds very proper with right. the spanish because my you know kids family is like <laughs> you know like they're fucking like they go they call a bus a guagua guagua a guagua they're like and then uh i didn't know this but jasmine she said uh, her mom said oh the guagua whatever and jasmine said hey like we're out like in what we were like in New York. She was like, there's we're around like a lot of tourists. Like if someone's from Spain here, they're gonna think you're an idiot. And she was like, I don't give a shit. I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do. I'll, 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 I'll be me. <laughs> Her mom is crazy. She, I don't give a shit. <laughs> she I like, gotta be me, bitch. She was like, let them talk to me. She goes, I don't even know where Spain be at. <laughs> she goes, I don't know David Spain. <laughs> do some magic for me, David Spain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stitch Fix. Hey, when it comes to looking good, it's me. I'm the best looking guy on the show. Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh picks curated for your taste and size. Here's the deal. If you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it's incredible. Uh, you basically go on the interweb. You tell Stitch Fix your style, the things you're into, the things you don't like. All right. And it uh, personalizes some stuff fit to your taste. It sends it to your house. And if you like it, wear it. If you don't, send it back. And they put a bag in there so you could send it back. There's no subscription required. They offer free shipping returns and exchanges. It's a uh, clothing store built just for you. Whether you're looking for a brand that you love or tried a new one, Stitch Fix Freestyle, you can shop over a thousand brands and styles personalized to your size and fit. Best part about Stitch Fix for me is that they sent me a bunch of stuff to my house and uh, I tried it all on in my mirror in my bedroom and I looked very pretty because I like the way my mirror, I don't have a fat mirror like they do sometimes at the store. Get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash badfriends. That's stitchfix.com slash badfriends. Just try Stitch Fix Freestyle. Stitchfix.com slash badfriends. Better help. Hey, we've talked about better help on the show a lot. We're big proponents of mental health on the show. I personally uh, use professional counseling which uh, this is, it's done securely online. It's not a crisis line or a self-help line. And you can start communicating with someone in under 48 hours. I got to tell you, the service is available for clients worldwide and you can use it anywhere. I've used it in my hotel room when I'm on the road. Uh, I've used it uh, on a bus when I'm a touring. Uh, I've also used it uh, in public. I have, I've gone on better help when I'm out somewhere uh, running errands. And listen, it works. Uh, you're going to get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly or video phone sessions. You won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room ever again. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they made it easy and free to change counselors if need be. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. You can visit their website. If you don't uh, if you don't believe it, you can visit their website. You can see the testimonials at betterhelp.com slash reviews. And visit betterhelp.com slash badfriends. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash badfriends. Join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And uh, this podcast, of course, is sponsored by BetterHelp and Bad Friends listeners get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. Yeah, she's like, I don't care. I no, but he's our fancy. He's our fancy. Fancy, baby. No, I love it. We should, oh, you guys ever consider doing an episode in Spain or going to Spain to his hometown? We want to go to Spain to shoot a movie. Yeah. Are we going to do it? We're going to try to. We're going to try our very Working hardest. I would like to do it. Uh, 
I think know. that's the move now, right? Is we might as well just try to shoot the movies ourselves. Right. I, I think that's that's I'm, the move because what because otherwise like, we could have ten executive meetings with people who don't really want to do it. No, let's then... just shoot it and then you guys do it and then if the, if there's a par for old Chrissy Banks, I fly over economy middle seat. Mm. <laughs> mm. You're gonna have to get a ticket without a seat. Oh, where it's assigned to you at the I gate. I stand up. I hold on to the railing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, please sit down. There. This is my seat. <laughs> yeah. You just have to hang. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably what it's going to be cut when it's going to come down Ryan to at some point. Ryanair tried that twice, and the EU shut them down. Ryanair did Wireless, standing, standing Ryanair room. did standing seats. They wanted to do that. They wanted to do just one pilot standing seats. God, that's genius. Uh, just one pilot is nuts. nuts. I mean, if you fucking get a heart attack or something, Sweet. just one pilot's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. It's Why not? So cheap, so cheap. Like you can fly. Yeah, but, but Ryanair. Yeah, for, but Ryanair. The flights are like twenty minutes. Have you done it, Ryanair? Yeah, that's before? how I flew that, around. That's how I got around Europe when Europe. I was there. That's how you get around. It's the easy. And you said it's, it's like twenty bucks. They fill the the tank just enough so they can do emergency landing. So they they got they they. Wow. Sort of, Everything yeah, is calculated. It's, it's so and, and, and but there's people then in Europe that they fly country to country daily, like right. Ryanair. Sure, yeah. But it's I'm, just yeah. Going I mean, from here to Arizona. Oh, this, yeah. It's like yeah, they're all 40, 40 minutes flights. Like if you go to, I went England to France or England to Spain. Yeah, it's it's quick. It's, just yeah. easy. it's an hour. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. You fair, Europe is a mini little. It's like Western United States. <laughs> right. That's how. That's how close. Like the states <laughs> in Western U.S. are as big as the countries in Western Europe. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. I, I I've been to Europe. Except ours touch and not and not all their jazz touches because they got a bunch of water coming. Bunch through. of water. There's a bunch of water over there. And I but the thing is with Europe, they're more cultured and they sound smarter and better and are more you know cultured because every the countries they're it's a, all different uh, cultures and languages. Here, but so it's like, are we. No, but you drive three thousand miles in any direction and everyone's speaking English, pretty much. But that's Which, the only thing. Yeah. Coming. Except you go down to Mexico. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or you ever been down to Louisiana? I've never, I've never the been down to Louisiana. Louisiana. The Bayou Boys, man, they sound so different. They sound crazy. Well, they got that little bit of song I've been out about. It sounds like that. And then you're like, gay? What? Yeah, gay? What the fuck? I don't get Come out here. We live in the Bayou Boys. It sounds like that. Do they, it they... sounds like Waterboy. Remember Waterboy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what everybody sounds like down you, there. Do you think they're pro-vaccine? <laughs> they don't even, they don't even make it way down there. No. They said, I man, man, he man, come, over, come down here, boy. I don't need none of that, boy. Day, boy. Come on, man. Ain't going to get a slave. We don't need a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and they need to go stab me. going to be H. Give me the H. <laughs> Got that horse. I've never been to Louisiana. It's awesome. Yeah. It's so dope. I mean, New Orleans, at least, is where I went. And then I went and shot guns and saw gators. Wow. <laughs> guns and gators. We did a guns and gators day, dude. Yeah. And then, you know, our, our boat got stuck in the swamp. I'm not kidding. It was so fucking funny. We're driving around. It's January. Uh, it's a buddy's bachelor party. We go shoot guns. We go take the boat out to go see gators in the swamp. We're drinking beers. And the dude that's operating it, who's just as fucked up as anybody else on it, who it's his job to like stay sober and get us back through the marsh in the swamps. And he's like, oh, man, this boat's done. This boat be done. I was like, the boat's done? He's like, boat be done. We just put it on the shore. We just got put up on the shore. And he's like, we go have to wait till someone else come back. I was like, call someone. He's like, ain't nobody they call. We got to wait. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> we just had to sit there and wait till somebody came by. And at any moment, you were like, a gator can come and chomp our boat in half. And I would just, at some point, I was like, what, this, what if it gets dark and now it's night? Now we're just sitting here all night in the fucking So you just marsh. have to hopefully wait for another boat. Oh, to no, someone to come by. That's what he said. Yeah. Oh, someone to come by. It was like an hour and a half. <laughs> nobody was even on the water nobody. at all. And you had no fucking, no one had cell signal. We had no cell signal. You were in the middle of the water. Yeah. If you would have gotten out and tried to swim to land, you would have been fucked. You would have been killed eaten by a gator immediately. The land is the water. It's the marsh, so it looks like you could step on shit, but you'll fall right through. It's the swamp. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We just ran out of gas. At the at the beginning we're laughing. (laughs) Yeah. Twenty five minutes in, you're kind of chuckling, but it's weird. Half an hour you're like, this is fucking Yeah. An hour you're like, panic. Yeah. Then an hour and a half, you're like, fuck it. And we just kept drinking. Right. Because then what are you going to do? I'm, 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 I might fall asleep, sh- sweep in a swamp. Sweep in a swamp. I might sweep in a swamp. And then what I... happened? Another boat came by and just you got on that boat? Guy came by. Yeah. Guy came by. Then he was like, oh, I got radio and blah, da, 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 da. Guy came by. We got on that new boat. They left the old boat and then they had to go get someone else to go tow it out. They just leave it there. That captain should have went down with the ship. He's a <laughs> pussy, that captain. We just shot a hole in it, and he just sinks into the swamp. <laughs> yeah. As he's sinking in, he just, his body starts But it was fun. Louis- Louisiana was fun. That's how I chipped my tooth. You see my tooth on the front? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Ew. I chipped it on a crawfish shell. 
eat on mushroom. I was on mushrooms and we were eating a crawfish boil. And then the next morning I went to go get a po'boy sandwich and the guy was like, I was playing with my tooth like this because I had a chip. And he goes, what's wrong with your tooth? And I was like, I, I chipped in on a crawfish shell. And he goes, oh, that's New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> that's New Orleans. He was right though, man. I bit right through. I chipped my fucking tooth in New Orleans. I, um, I took mushrooms for the first time ever last week. Get yeah. Did you do it on the pod? I did it on the pod. I did it on the Patreon. Did you pa feel Did you feel good? Patreon, Christy D. Patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. Um, we did it for the $5 level and up. And uh, I did it with uh, Gianni Palo, uh, who's little brother Christian. We uh, saw his mom last night. We saw Gianni. Chris sent a text message to Gianni <laughs> and said, best threesome we've ever had. Yeah. He was pissed. Gianni was like, he goes, ha, ha, ha. And then he sent me a text like an hour later. He was like, you really didn't hook up with my mom, right? I was like, <laughs> yeah, we, yeah did. we did. What are you talking about? What do you think you came to LA for? <laughs> yeah, dude. Why do you think I have you run on my TikTok? She's tiny. She's a tiny. So is he. So all her kids are tiny. I say, we took your mom to France. She saw the Eiffel Tower. Hey! Oh. I took her to Predomain, yeah. <laughs> um, um, He's a good dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> After is, that, we banged your mom. He's a good dude. Great guy. I really appreciate his love and support these last years. Um, no, great. we did mushrooms. He took his shirt off. Um, jacked. He's on testosterone or clobuterol. He's on some type of steroid openly. And uh, it looks great. And we took mushrooms. And um, it really, for me, was... It wasn't like a bug out experience, but I, I just feel very settled. I feel I've had... The least amount of anxiety I've had in years has been this last week. How many? How much mushrooms did you take? I because George is not enough because George is a big mushroom head. Are you a big mushroom guy? <laughs> big time. Uh, yeah, it's, but it's kind of hard now that I have a kid to uh, you know, get a get a day off to do mushrooms. But yeah, look at this yeah, guy with a toothpick in his mouth like he's a mafia <laughs> yeah. member. Who the fuck do you think it. you are? <laughs> Caffeine uh, toothpick. Too. No, nicotine full. No, nicotine. is it really? Yeah, a nicotine toothpick. <laughs> yeah, sneaky way to get the nicotine. Give me one of those. All right. Wow, <laughs> that's you ever had a nicky toothpick? No, I want a nicky pick. What what it's just like it's like smoking a stog. If they <laughs> if they call them Nick Picks, what are they called? If they don't if they don't if they're not called Nick Picks, I'm, I'm upset. No. Zipix. Zipix. Wow, how come they're not a sponsor? <laughs> well, they should be. They should be. I'll try it. I've never done nicotine. Uh, don't, it smells. What oh. do you mean? You never smoked a cigarette in your life? Oh, maybe once or twice. Really? Yeah. What about a stogie? Almost never. I swear, I, I, I barely ever smoked weed. I don't really smoke anything. I like I I miss smoking weed. I don't do as much anymore. Hey, how much how, how much nicotine are in these things? Uh, just two mg's. So what would that be? Like one cigarette? I think less. What? Less than a cigarette? I think less or equal to. Do you like um? Do you like vapes? Have you ever hit a vape? Never hit a vape. Wow, two, two, I actually like this. I could get addicted to this. It's it it because it makes my breath. It's like a breath mint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the flavoring on this, George? What does it say the flavoring is? Uh, this one's Spice Island Clove, but they got lots of flavors. I was going to say Spice Island. It does I, smell like a clove. I was going to say, it feels like I'm chewing on Rudy. <laughs> 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 American Spirits are dirt bag cigarettes, right? <clears throat> That's what cool kids smoke because they're like, um, American like Spirits organic. are like. Organic? Yeah, they're like all organic tobacco and Matt, it's like fair trade I mean, and all that How stupid shit. are people? They're like, it's organic. The they're, they're cigarettes were, you know, raised right. Like, it's just, you're smoking a cigarette. Well, they're cage-free cigarettes. Cage-free cigarettes. They're farm-raised. <laughs> You know what the difference is, though? I will say, if you're going to smoke, you might as well s smoke tobacco that's not infur uh, infused with other shit. Right. So it's like like a cigar is just tobacco. Okay. I mean, a good cigar is going to be really good high-end just tobacco, mm -hmm. right? Leaves. But then cigarettes, you get good tobacco, and then they put all sorts of... They put ammonia. They put piss. They put urine in it. They put piss in it. They put piss in cigarettes? Politicians, they collect their piss... And put in Siggy Wiggies? Put in the Siggy Wiggies. Holy shit. You know that they Pepsi Pepsi's flavored by aborted the, fetuses. Well, is it really? Google it. It's like a it's like a real conspiracy. Wow. <laughs> okay, zoom in. <laughs> the chemical constant the <laughs> chemical constant. Uh scoot, scoot in on that. Zoom in on that, baby. Up. Uh nicotine, carbon Ac monoxide, arsenic. Acetone, ammonia. isn't that nail polish remover? Yeah. Yep. Tuolene, methylamine. Methylamine is what Gianni's on to get jacked. That's his steroid. Yeah. Methylamine. Methylamine man. That's a new character. Methylamine man. Yeah. Just like a superhero jacked on meth. <laughs> I'll fight crime all days of the night. Yeah. Week of the day. Well, I what? got a name for that guy. He was alive. Who was it? <laughs> Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that was Methylamine man. <laughs> Methylamine man. Methylamine man. <laughs> <laughs> he'll build a puzzle. Then he'll kill an entire race of people. <laughs> He's building a thousand piece puzzle. <laughs> Hold on one second. That's insane how bad cigarettes, how much stuff is in there. It's disgusting. But but I guess that's the deal, right? Isn't that the Irish Cancer Society? Irish Cancer Society is <laughs> It hilarious. would be us, yeah. Yeah. 
Here's all the stuff that's inside cigarettes. Not our cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, uh, but what's the difference? American spirits are just tobacco, right? Just With tobacco? No additives. Is that true? Or are they just. I think hippies smoke them because they think it's like a nice. The brand American Spirit is now owned by R.J. Reynolds. Ammonia, formaldehyde, <laughs> pepper spray, ethanol, ethyl alcohol, lead, isopropyl okay. alcohol, vinyl chlor, vinyl chloride. That's a band name. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, though. Formaldehyde, that's what they ferment bodies in, right? Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Ammonia. Dude, I knew a kid that smoked that. Wet. Smoked formaldehyde? It's called getting wet. Have you guys ever heard of this? Really? No one's heard of this? Type in getting wet. This is a, this is Urban Dictionary. And then type in, you, uh, does Pepsi, is Pepsi flavored by aborted fetuses? <laughs> 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 I made a couple of Pepsis in my day. Oh, God. <laughs> Ready Refresh by Nestle. Hold on. Speaker. Hello? This is Ready Refresh, your beverage delivery. Yeah, I'm trying to fucking cancel your service for three months. <laughs> Oh, it's a fucking robot. Fuck you. I've been trying to cancel Ready Refresh by Imagine Nestle that's for a real three guy. fucking months. Imagine if that was a real guy. Yeah. It's your Ready Refresh here. With your, and fuck you. And he's like, gosh, darn it. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm a robot. They don't take me serious. Uh, yeah. Getting fuck. wet. Came to New Jersey. Man accused of murdering six-year-old boy, critically wounding 12. His sister was on combination of PCP and marijuana, a drug sometimes called wet at the time of the crime, according to local... Right. Okay, that's what it is. Getting wet is PCP in your marijuana. Was that you just ripping a fight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my I, I didn't God. even do it into the mic. My God. You picked that up on the mic? You so, guys got good mics. Well, those chairs have fart... Re they, they, we've got fart reverberators on them, so <laughs> right. they're plugged right into the mic. No, because I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even try to get so that on the That's what's getting wet is PCP inside of weed. But I thought people dip from blunts and formaldehyde. I thought that was a thing. It's right? a training day, too. Denzel says to Ethan Hawke, like... Oh, that's oh, you getting wet. I didn't know you like to get wet. wet. That's exactly... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. <laughs> Thanks, See? Carlos. <laughs> Training day. King I Kong saw, does have shit on me. One time I saw Ethan Hawke at the airport, right? In mm -hmm. New York. I saw him at the airport. And we were on the same flight. I was like, that's weird. And then I came back like two weeks later from LA. And Ethan Hawke was on my flight going back to New York. I was like, that's fucking weird. He, I was like, I was like, what's going on, E-Hawk? I, I was like, we keep seeing each other in the airport. He was like, security. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps flying back and forth from New York to LA every single day. Every day. Just so people see him on a flight. That's, uh, there was a story about a dad once who um, his daughter was a flight attendant and he barely saw her. So for like a week, he just took all her flights. Wherever she goes, he just sat on her flight. I was like, what a stupid thing Loser to do. dad. I was like, let me, let me tell you something. Well, he's trying to make up for all those years. I was going to say, dad. that ain't going to make up for the times you used to beat the shit out of her mother in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got daddy issues now I'm on every flight yeah and they wrote it up like this whole nice news article like what a good dad I was like he's making up for scumbag yeah, he, shit he did yeah. I'd be like what are you if you're a good president father it's like I'm not going on your fucking flights to Detroit with I'm you I'm exhausted just come home yeah come home by the way <laughs> I don't know what's going on with uh, flight attendants lately but uh, the attitude is through the fucking roof. You got a, you got a toot from a flight attendant lately. I'm, almost every flight I get on there, just 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 in a bad mood. You know what I've noticed, and this I don't whatever wherever the flight attendants um are are coming from, wherever they're based out of, that's what dictates if they're going to enforce the mask rule or not. Oh. I would when I flew out here from when I flew I flew from New York to Florida. They didn't give a shit. I had my mask off the entire <laughs> flight. As soon as I got the first beverage, entire flight, nobody said anything. They didn't. Have, New, when we were flying from Florida to California, I guess it was the LA base. They, in between sips, they had it had to be on my chin. If I if I pulled it on my ear, they, she would say it has in between sips, sir. In between sips, sir. I was like, oh my god. You know what? It's flight. This is a first hand account. About three four months ago, I forgot where I was flying from. I've never seen this. I was flying first class and uh, New York to Boston. And um, no, I was flying first class, <laughs> short flight, <laughs> New, New York to Philly. And, um, and uh, you know, they take your jackets, right? Yeah. They take your jackets yeah. and, and hang them up, they whatever, you know, polite stuff. So we're, you know, landing or whatever. And the woman uh, flight attendant, she goes, um, she goes, gives the guy his jacket back, you know, and he goes, there's a crease in this. Like he was being such a dick. He was like, there's a crease in this. He goes, what the fuck did you do to my jacket? And she was like, sir. She was like, I, I, you know, I folded it up. She was like, I'm sorry. You know, we're going to be landing soon. You know, if you'd like to make a report or whatever, you know, you know, being like so professional. And I was like, well, I saw at first I wasn't listening to the beginning, but then I took my headphones. I was like, this is getting like pretty heated. And then 
the guy goes, I can't believe I fly this yellow all the time. Look, you crease my crease my jacket. Kept going on. And then something snapped. This was a firsthand account. I, I, this was not told to me by someone. I witnessed every moment of this. I saw it. For, I, I wish I was recording it, but I, I was just so shocked in the moment. She, uh, you know, he's still yelling. And she goes, she finally goes, she goes, sure, sir, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I swear to God. She goes, sir, shut the fuck up and sit down. <laughs> She goes, shut, and then and then the other flight attendant came and like tried to like you know like get in was like all right and then she went and sat like in her bucket seat because I had the angle you know you know like when you're sitting in first class you something you could see see him yeah I could see her sitting in the bucket seat and she's like this fucking scum like she was <laughs> like she was going off and then he walked out like he like you know zoomed past her and she ice grilled him the whole way like she was not like I'm sorry like she didn't come to her senses good she for was, her though. she was like you shut the fuck up and stay seated sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. And I was like, fuck that dude. Yeah, and it was almost to the point where I swear to God, like the people around us, we almost like started <laughs> clapping for the flight because he was being such a dick. Yeah. You know? Well, sometimes they are, but that's my thing is I'm always so polite and nice, but sometimes yeah. you, you catch an attitude from them. Yeah. Like I was nice on the flight to to um, uh, St. Louis and <clears throat> um, uh, American has stopped doing like certain food services now, mm -hmm. you know, because of all this bullshit. But the woman, I know, she, it's just she, she gets a coffee. Yeah. And then I politely said, is there a meal service on this flight? Because I didn't know if there was. I'm genuinely asking. She goes, I'll get it to you after I serve everyone a drink. And I was like, no, I just, I was just asking. I didn't know yeah. if there was one. She goes, yes, there is. After <laughs> it, can I do all the drinks? And I was like, okay. Yeah. You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was being so nice. And yeah. then she, but I think the thing is like, they've dealt with so much bullshit. It's not like it used to be. Years yeah. ago, no, I, they were all in such a good mood. I know. Because their money was probably better. Their hours weren't as insane. Now they're overworked and underpaid, so they're like, fuck, fuck you. you. Here's your jacket, you fucking piece Idiot. of shit. <laughs> That's what the head should have. You know Ed DeBevix? Do you know what that is? No. It was a restaurant in Chicago where they were mean to you. Bring up Ed DeBevix. <laughs> the, part of the service was they were an asshole to you. That's fun. That's fun. They go, Here, they go here's your steak, fat ass, and they walk <laughs> away. <laughs> My dad used to be like, you should get a job at the Bevix. should be perfect for perfect it. Perfect for it. But that's the deal. You're supposed to be a bully. A lot of like Second City people and stuff like that work there, improv kids. Why'd they close it down? I guess you can in this climate, right? PC. It's kind of hard. You throw a couple of racial slurs, you get, you get yeah, sued. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Upstart. Hey, a lot of us have credit card debt. Uh, I had at one point almost $60,000 in credit card debt. If you feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt with no end in sight, Upstart can help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. A lot of you have credit card debt. And look, in the new year, let's start off fresh. Let's start off right. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all done on the interwebs. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. And rather than just looking at a credit score alone, Upstart's going to consider other factors like your income, your current employment, and your credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. And you can get your rate checked out without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 and $50,000. And if that worked for me, I only would have had $10,000 left to, to deal with, but I, it wasn't around when I had my debt. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after, uh, after they accept your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash badfriends. That's upstart.com slash bad friends. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts are going to be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash bad friends. Buffy. Hey, we've talked about Buffy so much on this show. It's the one thing that Bobby always says that uh, I did right for Bobby. I did a lot right for Bobby. But um, this is incredible. Buffy is... Uh, this cloud comforter, it's covered in super soft eucalyptus uh, fabric filled with fluffy fiber made from 100% recycled bottles, all right? So we can't complain anymore, Greta Thunberg. We're putting those bottles in the ocean to use. We're making it Buffy. Buffy created the best comforter you've ever slept with. This comforter has over 18,000 five-star reviews. Customers agree it's the softest, fluffiest comforter they've ever tried. And I will agree. Look, I get sweaty at night because uh, right now I'm fat daddy and I'm sweating out of my pores. Uh, I got meat sweats and beer sweats pouring out of my neck. And Buffy keeps you at the perfect temperature so you feel cozy without overheating. I do love it so much. I have it on um, the beds, plural. Yeah, I have a couple of beds in my house and I got them on all of them. The Cloud Comforter is covered in ultra breathable eucalyptus fabric. It's softer than cotton. It's sustainable. It uses 10 times less water than cotton to grow. Machine washable. And come on, dude. You want to be comfy and not overheat at night? Huh? Buffy is the way. The average down comforter has tw it harms 12 geese. Huh? But Buffy's comforter is cruelty free. It doesn't harm no geese harmed. That's what it should say on there. No geese armed. You can try a comforter in your own bed for free. If you don't love it, return it at no cost. Come on. What are you doing? What do you have to lose? 
Uh, do yourself a big favor. Try it out. You don't like it, send it back. You won't. No way. Tweet at us if you don't like it because I won't believe you anyway. I'll block you. <laughs> for $20 off your Buffy comforter, visit Buffy.co and enter bad friends. That Buffy.co for $20 off and enter the code bad friends. No, they still might be open. I have no idea. Dude, Jeff, are they still there? Does yeah, it say? It looks it? Like, yeah, it's open. They're still open? Oh, at the Bevix. Yeah, go. but now they're going to be PC when they're mean oh, to you. Oh, God. Yeah, here's your steak, you cis white male. And everyone's like, oh, burn. <laughs> bang. <laughs> bang. I bet you voted Democrat. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they used to be They used to be uh, mean to you. What is this? Well, oh, see. Leave you money so you can figure out how to leave me a decent tip, okay? Because right now I have no prayer at all. You're not far, you're not earning one. You know what, Grandpa? If I was nice to you, I'd get canned, okay? If you want good service, you go somewhere else. I know Hooters is probably more your speed. Uh-huh. This is how unfortunate this is. This made the news at, at, back in 2015 because people were like, oh, a mean server. They've been doing this for like 50, 50 fucking years. It's so dumb. They've been doing this for so long, but now people are like, huh? How could you say that? That's crazy. It's on the it's on the internet. Can you believe she would say that? Dude, they've been doing that for, and they used to be mean to you. And Don't I mean they do mean. that at the Wiener Circle too in Chicago? Aren't they well, mean to you dude, and shit? Yeah, or is that just not even an act? That's not an act. <laughs> that's like they work at the DMV. You know, you just bring up a dogs. video of the Wiener Circle. I went there when, when I shot my special on the head. The the this is these three beautiful large black women and they say well because look they deal with little college kids all the time up there right so drunk ass college kids they started lighting them up and that's kind of part of the culture over there what you want you little small dick piece of shit you're like <laughs> hot dog she's like shut the fuck up and you get your hot it's a good hot dog shut up Tyler <laughs> shut up Cassidy Joe bitch, bitch ass. ass little vaccinated bitch ass. Yo, vaccinated bitch ass. Come oh, on, here. the bean. This motherfucker got boost. You know he got two boosters, this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. They light you up at the Wiener Circle. But that's, again, that's that's not, that wasn't the history of the restaurant. Yeah, that's Ed just- Ed whole joke was- that's like Dick, Dick's Last Resort. Don't they do that at that restaurant? <laughs> but that's more of like a chain of it. Like they be, they just, they they light you up at Dick's Last Resort and they write, like they give you like big pole pats and they write like you're mm-hmm. a piece of shit on it. They or, should do that. They should, they should have a um, Dick's Last Flight. Dick's Last Flight. And do an airline. Dick's, Dick's Airline. Oh, with a, dude. Yeah, I'm like a whatever. Ever. I'm like a, a pothole? What? Um, Jet, if you fly Jet Blue. JetBlue is the only one giving like full service meals like it was in Love. 2019. Everybody else, I was on, I flew Delta out here and the lady sitting, dude, the lady sitting next to me in Delta, she was, this was pretty funny too. The flight attendant was nice about it, but the woman goes, she goes, um, you know, whatever says the choices of the breakfast. And she goes, do you have anything with green? Like I'm looking for something with green. And the flight attendant was like, all our food is in a box. <laughs> <laughs> you want a salad, bitch? Wait till you land. Yeah. Okay? It's all, all our food is in a box. Um, and then when I was flying from New York to Tampa here, I sat next to a pilot, you know, like sometimes pilots. Yeah. And I, I swear, dude, I swear to God, we were like. An hour and a half into the flight, and he he's like looking out the window, and like I saw him like looking, and he goes, "This plane don't sound good," and I was like, <laughs> "Really?" Like he was like, "I think it's gonna be fine, but it, it they need to it don't sound good," and I was what? like, "Well, I swear to God," and Jesus. I was like, "Really?" And then I asked him, we kind of struck up a you know conversation for literally two minutes, but I asked him, I because this was the flight to Tampa, nobody was wearing a mask. I said, "Do, do you guys wear masks in the cockpit?" He goes, "I ain't never wore a mask once in the cockpit." Yeah, why would he? Yeah, it was just like, him and one other guy. Yeah, they take it right off immediately. Well, here's the here's the irony about the mask thing, and I don't want to get too deep into that because who cares? But yeah, it's weird that they're like you, you wear a mask when you're sitting still, just breathing, usually out your nose, you know? Yeah, which is like I mean, you know how much so is dumb. coming out. But when you're eating, you're like, hot, 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 hot. There's, yeah. there's all this shit getting into the yeah, air. It's so fucking it's dumb. It's the weirdest time to, to like, take off your mask while you're eating. You're like, blah, 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 burping and <laughs> yeah. it's spitting food out of your mouth. But they're like, no, no, no. It has to be when you're sitting still breathing out of your Donnie nose. Donnie was telling me a story. I don't even remember this. Like a few months ago when they did the mask mandate, Southwest pilots were like, yeah, we're just not going to fly the flights. And then Southwest had to reverse their mask mandate because the pilots were like, yeah, we're just not doing it because we're all hicks. Well, yeah, but I mean, Southwest, uh, you know, Southwest. Dude, Southwest, honestly, man. The bus in the sky. Every time I've flown Southwest, it's a great experience. The Wi-Fi is fantastic. I get mad leg room. Uh-huh. Everything's good. With, always good with Southwest. Spirit Airlines is fucking piece of shit. I've never, fl- I've never flown it once. Never flown Spirit. We should do That's what we should do. Fly Spirit and die? Yeah. That, that's, 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 that's all I get the boost off. Let me fly Spirit, no mask. I got to... Does Spirit go overseas? They don't fly over no, water. No, they'll never they? make it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They run out of gas. Oh, no, dude. They'll never make it. The Spirit go overseas. Spirit Airlines, 47 domestic and 28 international destinations Get in 18 countries. Get the fuck countries. out of here. Hey, let's go to Aruba. Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala. They go to all the, they all go to all <laughs> yeah. his countries. Oh, Any wait. Central or South America airlines, that whenever you go to LAX and you go past the terminal, you can tell that they make them bring their own tape in case something falls apart. <laughs> yeah. That's like, you know, you know, I was watching the thing. You ever seen like airline disasters or some shit? You know that show like Worst Oh, era? yeah. 
I was watching once about like Korean air and like in Korea, you cannot, if you are, a, you know, the, the whatever, assistant pilot, what are they called? What's a, the, the main co-pilot. pilot? Co- if you're the co-pilot, you cannot, you cannot ever direct your superior ever. And so. What do you mean? Like if he makes a mistake, you can't say you anything? Can't. So that, that every, you know, that everybody died on this flight because the, the, you know, they had like the, you know, uh, black box recorder, this guy, the, 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 uh, pilot was flying directly into a fucking mountain. <laughs> And all the co-pilot had to do was, you know, you know, excuse me. Excuse, yeah. I, was, uh, I think I use this at a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all. That's all he had to do. Mountain? Mountain. <laughs> Just one word. He was afraid to say mountain. it. But he says over the black box, he goes, whatever. He was like, uh, he was like the, you know, the pilot is, is going to fly into a mountain. He goes, so say, I want you to tell my wife and kids I love it. <laughs> so he like, and then, <laughs> Yeah, like he didn't do anything. Oh my God. That was the only thing they had. That's how they do. And they like they weren't laughing about our airlines. It's just like, unfortunately, in their culture, I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? You can't even, you can't even make a he suggestion. Couldn't. So he just, the guy, the pilot was just driving. He's like, skies look great. And then he just flew it right into a fucking, and the other co-pilot was like, that's a Mount Fuji you're going to hit. And then it, that was his last one. He goes, just tell my wife and kids I love them because the pilot just flew it right into was this Malcolm Gladwell's cop- cockpit culture theory and the Asiana crash? That's what. Oh, it is. so okay, so there you go, Malcolm Gladwell. It's, it, what a good lady Malcolm Gladwell is. And, and your uh, stories from one of his books. So. What'd you say? The story of the Korean Air. Uh, oh, crash is it? Is in one of his books. Yeah, okay. Famous. Yeah. He I'm sorry, they, I don't read they had Carlos. To redo, uh, like they made all uh, Korean pilots learn English so that they wouldn't have like because the, the language is so hier- hierarchical in Korea. What do you mean? Like the, the, the pilots it, had to learn English to communicate in English to each other. Wow. Because of the hierarchy of the Korean language, wouldn't allow them to like talk to their superiors. But English is just you, you, you. He doesn't know what hierarchy means. You got oh. that? That's a, that's a yeah, problem. Patriarchy? <laughs> yeah, patriarchy. Yeah, there's um, only one. Yeah, there's only one archie over here, baby. Hey, patriarchy. I'm Archie Bunker. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, they had to learn English so they because they, they had an ability to speak to each other at a it's similar. Cr- uh, it's crazy, dude. If you look at like other cultures, like you know, if I was you know meeting you know my girl's father, um, uh, you know, you in America you have to look them in their eye, or it's disrespectful. In Asian culture, you look them in their eye; it's disrespectful. So it's like you don't know if you if you meet your if you're if you had a Korean wife and you looked her father in the eye, he'd be like. Get this guy's a fucking piece of shit. Where are you shit. supposed to look? In their chest? I don't think you're supposed to keep your head down. It's like a culture thing. You have to keep your head not, down. Where are you, you supposed to look? You can't look at these guys in the eye. That's very disrespectful in the Asian culture. See, Americans, if you shake someone's hand and you don't look them in the eye, it's a fuck you. That's like, really? I, that's like, that's like, meh, fuck you. Yeah. That's what that is. You don't, you don't look them in the eyeball? That's nuts. 10 places where eye contact is not recommended. <laughs> yeah. Do in, not. In the bedroom. Prison. China, China not recommended. Yeah, well, I look them all in the face and say, "You did this to me." Yeah. Also, uh, in China, what is being that? Muslim not recommended. In China, look at that. In China, <laughs> people make eye contact when they're angry. It's meant to challenge the other person has a sign of disrespect. Yeah. See, it's a it's a, it's a big thing. Japan not, not recommended. recommended. <laughs> Iran. Iran sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> depends. If you're looking at you know Saddam Hussein or somebody, look look him in the eyes. Vietnam. Eye contact is an uh, accompaniment to many conversations when the participants are friends or family. Got it. Strangers, you don't look in a fucking eye. However, eye contact is never appropriate for the opposite gender. You don't look abroad in the eyeballs. You look at the tits. <laughs> yeah. My eyes are right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's Saudi Arabia. Is that what that said? Where yeah. was that? Where that? That was Iran. That was Iran. Iran. Yeah. Iran. Not Iran. Dude, Iran. They correct you all the time here in L.A. Because everybody here, all these, they're all from fucking Iran. And Iran is the right way or Iran? Iran is Iran how they, is they'll the make right you. Because here in LA, we have a lot of Iranians. Right. And they'll tell you, Iran, not Iran. Iran. I just go old school. I just say Persia for Persian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I say, yeah. They all say Persians. You know yeah, that, that they call themselves Persian. Yeah. Because you know why they say that? Why? Well, because because the, the connotation of Iran because of what happened with the fucking the war. People the don't, war. people like, oh, you're from Iraq? They're like, Iran, like, same, same to <laughs> me, say, bro. Yeah. Uh, Vietnam, not recommended. Well, I'm not looking at her teeth. Where else am I going to look? Who was that, Stavros? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, in Vietnam, eye contact is a way of showing interest in the opposite gender. Right. Yeah, that, right. that's everywhere around that's the fucking world. That's what started the whole Vietnamese war. Somebody photo? just looks somebody yeah. in the eye. Why, was that the photo? Why is this the photo? Cambodia. Not recommended to look down on the child that's about to give you a blowjob. <laughs> what is that photo? <laughs> what is that photo? Why do they have these weird fucking photos on this website? Yeah, what the hell is... She's got beautiful eyes, this kid. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> Indonesia. Sometimes. Go down. Kenya. Kenya. Sometimes. Hong Kong. Not... But America's the worst place on earth. South America's Korea. So not recommended bad. South Korea. I thought South Korea was. 
I thought Southie. Well, you I can't look Bobby in the eye. Don't look him in the eye. I look him in the eye all the time. <laughs> that's why he's. That's why he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Thailand. It says so, some eye contact. Not too much. U.S. eye contact. Welcome. welcome. United Kingdom. In the UK, of course. Yeah, yeah, but that's one of those things. I guess um, it is interesting meeting like your girlfriend's father because you get like you get so in your head. Like my girl's dad, he died, um, but. He was a big, like a Puerto Rican man, but humongous Donald Trump supporter. Yeah. Like huge Trump guy. I had no idea. Aren't all Puerto Ricans? Aren't big Puerto Ricans? Isn't it? It big depends. Canada? Like, yeah, it, it, you know, it, some are some. This guy was huge, uh, huge Trump guy. And he died like right after the election. I just met Jasmine. You know, I barely knew him. I, I met him like, you know, uh, my daughter Delilah was like three months old. And so, but he, you know, he, he wasn't coming around that much, but then he started coming around. So I got to know him and I didn't know his political, uh, you know, I didn't know who he was affiliated with, but when the, the night after the election, he came over for dinner and I thought because Puerto Rico got a Puerto Rican kid, this is all new to me. I went on like, you know, I was like, you know, what a disservice to this country, like all that stuff. <laughs> like I was like, I was like, I can't believe it. I was like, it's going to be okay. I was like being the father of a, you know, Lat Latinx child. Like I was, trying, you know, I was just trying to be like all, you know, like just try to hide the fact that, you know, I voted for the guy, but I was just, I, was just like, I, I, I had no idea. I was like, you know, Latinx Kyle, and this is uh, horrible. And I'm going to do everything I can as a white man to make this better for my child and your child and all this stuff. And like, I swear to God, he was just like, just looking at me and goes, you done? And I go, yeah. And then I swear to God, out of his, he had, you know, he had walks around, he was walking around like a plastic bag. He pulled out a Make America Great Again hat on and he put it down. He goes, I voted for him. I would have voted for him twice. And then, and then I was like, oh boy. And then, and then he died, right? Like a month later. That's why he died, by That's the way. That's why he died. Yeah. He was like, I'm not, he was like, I can't believe my son married, uh, my daughter married a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he goes, um, so he passes away, right? And then, you know, obviously Jasmine's very upset. It was sudden. He had a heart attack. So, we go to the funeral home in Brooklyn, and uh, uh, you know she can't even talk, Jasmine. She's like distraught. So we sitting there and going over the funeral arrangements, and she said, "She was like, please, just like, can you handle this?" I was like, "Yeah, whatever." So we're talking, and then he go the guy, uh, the funeral director, Italian guy, goes, uh, he goes, uh, "What was what was his political affiliation?" And Jasmine's like, well, "I don't know why that's important." And he goes, "No, no, I don't want to be disrespectful. I just, you know, what was his political affiliation, you know, to me?" And I go. Is it okay? And she goes, I, whatever. I go, he, he was, you know, he voted for Donald Trump. And he goes, <laughs> I swear to God, he starts clapping. And he goes, Give him the good cash. No, and then he goes, and he goes, he goes, listen to me. He goes, that man voted for Trump. And uh, we said, yeah. He goes, I'm going to get the, uh, g g you know, the army, the Coast Guard, uh, you know, the, what do you call the, the uh, changing of the guard? Mm. He goes, I'm going to get them to come. They're going to play a thing on the flute for him. Taps. Tap, yeah, he goes, he goes, we're going to get a full military burial for him. <laughs> full military burial. He's like, that's on me, on this funeral home. He goes, and, um, he goes I want to get him a wreath, and I, I want to do something. I, I want to do something nice for you guys. He goes, because you know what? He goes, I had a funeral in here the other day, right? He goes, these people are going on and on and on. He goes about Hillary this, Hillary that. And I said to them, he goes, I said to them, he goes, I said, you know, I'm listening to them. He goes, you got to be respectful. You know, people, you know, people died and, you know, people get upset. He goes, I said to them, he goes, uh, he goes, you know, I'm talking to the guy. He goes, this fucking guy. He goes, honestly, I don't even know what gender this fucking guy was. He goes, I'm talking to this guy. He goes, he goes, he, he goes, he goes, I asked him. And this, it's crazy that he's even saying this to us while she's crying and then even saying this to him. Well, his, they just lost a loved one and he's getting into this. And he goes, um, he goes, he goes, I said to the guy, I go, um, I go, uh, I go, t be honest with me. What's one fucking mistake Trump's made so far in three months? Just tell me one mistake. Tell me one fucking thing he did wrong. We're proof. He goes, none of this CNN bullshit. He goes, we're proof. Tell me one mistake this guy's made. He goes, and I'm going to give you the funeral for free. Okay, I'm gonna give you the funeral for free if you could come in here tomorrow and show me where proof one mistake <laughs> that Donald Trump's made. He goes, guess what? They paid. They paid full price. <laughs> he goes, they paid full price. Of course they did full price because you can't prove it, bro. He came in. I swear, I have pictures. I don't know if I put it on my Instagram. I think Jasmine asked me to take it. This was it was five years ago anyway, six years ago. He came in with the wreath, dude. I'm. It was it was bigger than this plant. Like like I've never seen it was like it looked like a Ferris wheel. And it said, Make America Great Again, right by his casket. <laughs> I swear to God, the family was coming in. Like Jasmine's sister is like very liberal. She was like, What the fuck? Who paid for this? She was like, Is this one of your jokes? Like they were yelling at me. I was like, he did it. He had a cappuccino machine downstairs in the basement. He was like, he was like, come on. 
he, he says to me, he goes, you want to have a cappuccino? And I, and I go, I go, I should say, come on. He goes, it's not your real family. Come on. <laughs> I was like, he goes, it's not like your dad died. Come on. He goes, I go do this shit every day. You don't really care. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was like, this funeral director, what he was fucking amazing. And then he's like, I had to come to see one of your skits. Then he was telling me wild shit about like how Robert De Niro's wanted by the fucking mafia and he can't come down the street. He goes, if he died, he goes, if De Niro died, I wouldn't bury him. I wouldn't bury him. <laughs> Why? Because he said he he said that I don't know if this is true, but he said that I mean, De Niro would, 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 <laughs> would finance would finance some of his movies from the mafia. Like back in the '90s or '80s, whatever would you know? Uh, some of the studios wouldn't give him the money, so he would finance it through the mafia. And I believe that, and he never paid the juice back on Ooh. it. He just would take the money and never pay the juice. Wow. Or they wanted royalties and all this shit because you know it's not you don't sign a fucking contract with the mafia. You sit in an office and you go, "Listen, this movie makes this much. You give me the money." You shake a hand. That's a but contract. He wouldn't do it. They you got to pay the juice. You got to pay the juice. Robert De Niro and the Gafada. He's incredible. What is that? What is that? Go back. Why is that a picture of Tim Dillon and and uh, Naomi? You'll see. <laughs> Podcast with Tim Dillon slams Naomi Osaka. Oh, you never seen that? This in, is great. Profanity lace rant. When was that from? Um, August. Yeah. What yeah. was he yelling about? He goes, "That bitch Naomi Osaka who didn't want to do the interview. Shut the fuck up. Uh, do the fucking interview, you dumb bitch." He oh. just tweeted that. No, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. But but the thing is, he gets written up in these art. You know, he does so many bits where like he's like, "I'm having an interview." Or you ever seen the one like with the with the Beijing game with mm. the opening of the Olympic games? Like they writ wrote him up like like they people think that it's real. They don't understand. It's not none of it is real. That the weirdest thing is that they'll literally write comedian, blah 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 blah, yeah. and you're like, take the first word. Yeah. Anything else is probably bullshit. Yeah. It's probably just us fucking around, making a joke. That's so weird that they still do shit like that though. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Timmy is the best. I mean, I love him to death. Yeah, he called last time we were on the show. He called into. The, he called my phone and we put him on the show last time. He is the best. But you know what's so funny that that is what's bothering me the most about like us doing this show. Us, when Bob's here or, you know, whatever, we're fucking around. And then if anybody takes any of that to any sort of level of like, they must be being dead serious. You're like, this whole thing is for fun. It's for fun. It's for fun. It's for fucking fun. But the beautiful thing is your fans know that. That's why that's, that's a great I thing. I know, but that's where the Yahoo News takes the time out of their fucking day to write about a comedian well, just, joking around about shows they don't have anything they else got nothing going on. to talk about. You know why? Because when Trump is gone, when Trump was in, man, they had so much fucking material. And oh. now they're just like, we got to find something to talk about. That guy was a bevy of material. You know, news sources were, they had an embarrassment of riches. They could say anything every single day. And because you never really knew what Trump stood for, because in the in, in a one minute rant, he, he literally contradicts. He, yeah, said he changes so, sides every he single time. He said so seconds. many wild things that you're like, all right, you know what? I give up. I don't even know what he said. We'll just wait till what yeah. he says tomorrow. He's like, gays are repulsive. Also, pro gay marriage. And you're yeah. like, wait a minute, what? Yeah, he goes, I was sucking cock last night. <laughs> <laughs> but it shouldn't be allowed in this country anymore. Uh, yeah. Who? Mexicans, gays, gay Mexicans. Gay Mexicans. Mexicans. <laughs> it is funny how many times he would go back on something he would say. Yeah, you could. That's why I yeah. think they never really got him pinned down. Yeah. He just kept flip-flopping. That's all you have to do. Flip-flop. Yeah. Just Flip. keep flip-flopping and they'll never, they'll never be able to track you down. I think that's a, honestly an amazing strategy. Flip-flop. Yeah, well, it got away. he got away with it for a long, long time. For a long Speaking of which, you do know Carlos. You know Carlos? Carlos up there? Carlos. Carlos was a diehard Trump supporter. Really? Die hard. Die hard, yeah. And he got attacked in the streets for wearing a Make America Great Again hat. Yeah, my dad was pissed. I... Because, because a lot my of Mexicans white, but I'm Mexican, so I was a little confused. Mexican like Trump, though, right? A lot of Mexicans like Trump. He was going to help build the wall. This kid, you were going to yeah, do my it. My dad works down there by the wall. By the wall, He's yeah. His dad works by the wall. Yeah. Well, hurt, because he was. DLC. That's the thing with Trump is like, yes, he was saying, okay, I'm going to build the wall, you know, and that ever. But what they don't say is, is he said he was going to build the wall to keep the Mexicans out, but he was going to make it with glory holes so the gays have fun. <laughs> that's right. So he was like, I was going to put glory holes in the you wall. You go down there, you get your cock sucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We keep out the bad guys, you still get a blowy. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Everyone's they're stressed out. Yeah, Carlos's dad was a coyote who would sneak immigrants into the country, but also really? worked for Border Patrol. So it was a double. He was a double agent. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Fancy B, by the way. I didn't give enough credit. Fancy B sitting in for Rudy. He had to do less work today than he's ever had to do. <laughs> yeah. Ever had to do in his life. But he does, But you know what? He's a vital part of this. He's a vital organ in this whole thing. Fancy and I do think he's losing his job to Carlos. I'm not going to lie. Well, Carlos, he, Carlos has taken over. Well, you have a job on the East Coast if you'd like one. Oh, okay? Awesome. As long as you have a valid passport. You can't steal my That's fans. our only prereq is he has to have a passport. Does, does he have a fucking Wikipedia page now? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> look at Fancy, dude. Go back. Does he have a Wikipedia page? He looks page? like a villain. Oh, his IMDB. Yeah. You do look like a villain. 
How do we get a Wikipedia page made for him? What is that picture right there? You look like you were on that true TV show with the magicians. <laughs> That they were the ones who were the practical jokers. What was it called? What Last is shot. that film? What is that shot? What was buddy? that show? Yeah, that's crazy. Well, did you take that in Spain? <laughs> no. Nice. Look at oh, that. Oh, that one. That one. That one. Oh my god. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. On Bad Friends Court. That was great. Fancy B, everybody. I'm gonna thank Chrissy D. Thank you, Chrissy Chaos. Go to uh, patreoncom slash Chrissy Comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, watch Chrissy Chaos. Uh, watch what? Um, hey babe I was gonna say watch Hey Babe and ChristyComedy.com Tiki Wikis I got the Christy Theater Tour everybody the CTE Tour go see the CTE Tour this guy's got brain damage and he's bringing it to a city near you if he makes it or he figures out what town he's in yeah Detroit Cleveland Washington D.C. fucking Atlanta Atlanta go to ChristyComedy.com yeah. to go Thank see you. this guy live it's beautiful Thank you so it's much. amazing um Go ahead and look at your single. Go ahead, you look at your camera and, and say thank you for being a bad friend. Take us out, baby. Okay, let's go, Brandon. Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs>